was August in the farmer's field outside the Copper Lake. And every year, like everyone before that bunny day, the bunnies gathered around for the huss and pepper row, for to eat and drink and breed and then play football near the plow. Well, bunnies breed like rabbits, so there's warrens all a bunch. And some of them are smaller, and some of them are lunch. But some of them are bigger, and the big ones, don't you see? Well, they all recruit the little ones in hopes of victory. Well, one of these small warrens was a, had a legend to uphold. They were known to be ferocious, they were known to be quite bold. They could pass and shoot and run the field and do as they were told. And their captain, I, he was a fearsome striker to behold. Well, this team of dogged bunnies, they all got to Copper Lake. They put on all their uniforms and to the field did take. They were emboldened by their captain, they were told he had a plan. But they were all heartbroken when their captain hit the lamb. Well, the bunnies screamed and cried and said, oh, what are we to do? Our captain, he's not with us, was he eaten by a groove? But then up spoke one bunny, it was his rookie year. He said, he's up and left us, yep, he's gone and disappeared. Well, the bunnies, they got angry, the bunnies, they got mad. They put aside their sadness for the captain they once had. They took the field together, ear to ear, they stood their ground. And when they met the foemen, they were heard to make this sound. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> well, somewhere in the carnage, somewhere in the dirt, they came upon their captain in the other team's bright shirt. Help. <laughs> uh, it seemed he'd gone and left them from some friends in other clothes. But when they came upon him, he was bruised from tail to nose. Yes, when they came upon him, he was bruised from tail to nose. Ta-da! <laughs>